Hey, welcome back everybody to Space Engineers. Chimo here. Well, I did something today. I shortened up this battleship a little bit. Not much. As you can see, they're still sort of eating away some of it. And I connected uh, Hellfire to the main platform since I did take out all those refiners there since we can go ahead and make the elites. And as you can see, our mining ship is no longer here. The little pirates that are around here got me. <laughs> I was mining one of the asteroids, and next thing I know, boom! And I'm thinking, oh, did I just hit the asteroid? No, they were firing missiles before I could get out of the hole I dug, because that thing really eats right into the asteroid. Um, yeah, our little miner was destroyed, and I was killed. By the time I got back to it, it was too late. There was not much left of the miner. So I did convert this into a nice little scrapping rig. Went over there, scrapped everything I could, and we're going to have to make a new miner soon because we're going to need a lot. But I did shorten this a little bit. Because I got the PCUs, CPUs, whatever it's called, set to 500,000. And as you can see, we're already at 225. So I'm going to have to change that just slightly to unlimited. Because this ship, even though I shortened it, uh, it was at, I want to say, what was it, 90 blocks? I shortened it to 69, I think. And it still has to go that way some more. And I did put in some motors on the side here. I got five stopping motors. Which, five on this side, five on that side. I don't know if that's going to be enough when this thing starts rolling. I got three on the side here. I didn't put in any weapon ports yet. I figured get the motors in, get our armament in. I'm not sure how many thrusters we're going to take to move this thing, but it's going to take a lot. And actually with the size of this thing, I don't know what we're going to take. I got it set up for three more motors here. Armament on this thing is just going to be immense. I don't think anything will be able to contend with us. Um, I did find what I was looking for with the pirates. So once this thing is built and fully armed, I'm going to put them in here. And like I said, I'm not going to destroy Hellfire. Hellfire, that is one hell of a ship. It's fully armed. So I'm not worried too much about anything destroying that thing. That thing is pretty tough. Um, actually, the fun, bad thing is, is putting the those pirates in it uses other weaponry and I might wait to put the weaponry on this until after I put the pirates in because it's a lot superior weapons than the vanilla and we might be using those so we'll see but I want to build the command center for up on top I got it marked out for the center this is actually the new center of the ship. The old center was like way over here. Um, actually, it wasn't that far over. This was the old center right here. So we didn't move over that much. But I want to get a command center. And I have an idea on what I want to do. And it's going to be interesting. I'm going to build this in light armor down below here. Because... This is going to be somewhat protected. We'll go out six from the center of this, because that would be seven. Oh, not you, not you. Don't build this one. Now, of course, you want to build that first one. That would be 6, that's 12, that's 13, right? Yeah. So 
So the nine that way, counting that one. That should be equal, right? No, one more. I don't know, I might go out a little bit more, we'll see. And I am going to use those bridge windows, I do like them. But I have a very unique idea, which I might expand this. This is the main command bridge. I think I'm going to have to expand it. Yeah, we'll go out a little bit more. Let's see about that. Might even go back more. Would I bring that out? Three more? Yeah. That don't look too bad for a command bridge. Come on, what a... I really hate when that happens. Oh, fly straight, buddy. Energy low. Oh, we're going to fix that right now. Give me a cockpit. Uh, we'll put a helm in here. Did it go? Ah! I got it. No, click it wrong. I want a helm. There you go. Come on. Get the helm on there. Uh, interior plates. Okay, so I guess I have to go back in. Yeah, the helm's going to be the main control, and then we'll put a few extra seats in there. So at least I can start getting energy out there. Okay, interior plates it is. Come on. We need some interiors. You, you got interior? I hope you do. Uh, right there. This build is so massive, it isn't funny. Can't believe I'm doing this. Yes, I can. I love building. Okay, hurry up and build that. Okay. Uh, I'll fill that floor in in a minute. Let's go to windows. I don't need that no more. Hey, Pops. Okay. Bah. Okay, we're going to be using... Where's it? These. I really do love these. And I want these right on the edge. But... These... Oh, they're upside down. They won't let... Oops. They won't let you put them on the edge. These are the way they go, right? No. Okay, alright, I gotta do this again. I gotta look at the windows I got here. Yeah. It won't let you put them on the edge because they have to be sitting on something. Yeah. See, it, it, it even tells you no. Oh, because I have no girders. Alright, I'm not going all the way in there. I just have to go over here. Why are your engine's still running? Oh, I got girders. Not many, but... Oh, give me my stuff back. Before you take it. No, I don't want... I don't need that. Give me that. Alright, so I do have girders. But, see, it's not letting me place it. 
it'll let you place it here. See? But up here it won't. So, to cheat it, cheat the system, you have to go to the corner. Oh, this ain't the corner one anyways. This is. If you get it turned right, uh, look at it this way. Yeah. You put the corner one in. This is how you cheat the system. Then you put this one in. Then you can put this one in. And it will be airtight. Trust me. I've done this before. Playing around with these. Oh, and I don't have many girders. Whoops. I gotta take that one off. Because. Wait a minute, did that one go there? No, because we gotta have that other one there. Good, you built it. Thank you. I need the girders. <laughs> I might have to add another one on there. Let's see, because this one's going to go here. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah, all right. So here we got this one. No, this one. Wait a minute. Okay. Yeah, it worked out. Hello. We're going to have a big panoramic view in here. Now, you won't believe the things you can do with these. Okay. Now, we'll finish this side here real quick. Okay, I ran out of girders. Ah, shit. Let's go grab some girders. Because I'm going to need them anyways. I know we got them in here. Girdles. Okay, three hundred. That's good. Oops. Oh, oh man, did I just no. Okay, good. I want to make sure I'm not going too far. That's it. I stop one forty end. I can't remember what I did with that. I think I did this. But I'm pretty sure that's going to be the end. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I did. That's the way we do it. Because then we can put a 45 here. Yeah. And that will go over there like that. Now we'll go like that. One second. Hey! Come here! Stupid dog. Alright, now the next thing we do. Now, we want big windows. Lots of you. Come here, you big knucklehead. That's the one. Stop your barking. They can hear you on YouTube. You're barking too loud. I wish they were bigger than 3x3. Three Two by three. No, this is the one we want. The three by three. And I think I calculated wrong. Let's see if I calculated wrong or not. Uh, 
down there. Huh. Yeah, I calculated wrong. One, two, three, four, five. I'm one off. Oh, because it's even. It was supposed to be odd. Okay, so... Since it's off, there is a 3 by 2 I know you're probably saying, this is not going to work. Yes, it is. Okay, we got three there. Um, we can't put three. So let's go back to that. Not to three by three, yeah. That leaves one, two, three, four, oh, at least five. Shoot. Wasn't thinking. Is there a one by three? One by two. One by one. Oh, man. Because that's all the way at the end. One, two, three, four, five. It's going to look funky. Hmm. Yeah, there is not a one by three. The only thing I can do then is. Where's that? One by one. Where's regular one by one? And put the one by one here. Which we need anyways. And this should be the one by two. And I guess it'll still look okay. And I wish we could put the one by two here, but it won't allow it. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we could still use the three by threes. What the heck is that? Oh. We can use the three by threes on the side. With no problem. I get up. Come on. That looks smoked. I think we're short bulletproof glass. Now I did look at the sloped. Um, the one by two. Where's it at? One by two flat. No, sloped. I was looking for. One by one sloped. One by one. Where's that one by two slope? I was just looking at it. Two by three flat. Am I going blind? I got the one by one. Yeah, one by two sloped. Energy low. You would figure that this would go in here. But, I can't seem to get it in here. No, oh, energy low. Did I put the command seed in here? Yeah. Oh. Ah, I hate that single one in the center. Nothing I can do. Oh. I wonder if there is a different oops different slope. Where did that one go? Get rid of that. One by two flat, that just takes all those. 
one by two flat. Uh, yeah, because the one by one. There, get rid of that. This one will go number nine. I got on there. This will go in there. Oh, no, no, not this one. The one by one slope. Uh, where's the one by one? This will go in. But no problem. I really don't like using this one. Oops. Yeah. We'll pick it up. And we go here. But you gotta do what you gotta do, huh? What did I put three on there already? Oops. Keep getting that ups with these. Now we could actually go bigger than this if we wanted to with the glass. Um, actually, I'm going to... Well, let's see. Is it bulletproof that we're missing? Wow. Yeah. Crap load of bulletproof. <laughs> Why am I flying slow? Uh, let's go make a little bulletproof. That's why at least we could see it. Oh, here, you guys can have this bulletproof. I don't need it. Okay, here, you guys make some... They still got all that skewed up. I ran out of gold again. There, there's 10,000 bulletproof. That should keep you guys busy for a while. <laughs> They're all just going to town now. Okay, now we go back to this one. Because we can do these right on top of these. We can face the right way. Just like this. And this room will be airtight. Yes, it's a massive command room. But, hey, go big or go home, right? Come on, get down there. Somebody wants to chat with me. Oh, let's put them on. Oh, can't get them on. Okay. I guess we won't chat yet. Oh, come on, buddy. I'll be with you in a minute. Oh, well, he's just antsy to chat. Tell you one thing. That chat is nice and a pain in the butt. He just, uh, I guess he wants to play subsistence. Which is fine, I love that game. I'm having a blast on it. That'll be on tomorrow. Hey, isn't that looking awesome? Oh yeah, I gotta finish that. Oh, flip it over. Ah, not out there. Ah. 
That is one big ass command room, huh? And then the, these walls here we're building. All right, now we're going to have to go back to the heavy armor. Because this is going to be outside. And what I'm going to be doing is making a stairwell coming up from the engine room down here. This is all engine room. Engine and production. We're going to have all of our refining rigs and everything down there. But this will be heavy armor out here. And I did that in light, so let's switch back to light. And put a light one here. There you go. Oh, actually, I can pop that on there. That'll let it go on. There you go. That is pretty awesome. Good, big. Now, you might think that's going to be one hell of a target. But with all the armaments that are going to be sitting out here, the armaments that are going to be down here, because that's going to be the height of the engine room and everything. This is going to be the height of everything else. And I'm not sure how far out this way I'm going. I'm going to try and keep everything a little bit lower. And we'll also have armaments on the roof, too. So hopefully it'll be protected. And this is going to be one command center. There'll be another one down in here somewhere. So just in case, we don't want to lose control of the ship. But this is going to be the main one. I'm going to have all kinds of electronics and stuff. There will be a med bay in here. A bunch of different seats and stuff. It'll look pretty cool. But this is where I'm going to leave you guys. We'll finish this thing up on the next episode. And we're definitely going to have to start doing something down here. With getting some motors in here. And expanding the front of this ship a little bit. And I have to expand the CPU, PCU, whatever it's called. Because uh, we're definitely eating them up. And I don't want to get rid of our base. Which I probably could get rid of the base. I think we're pretty much done with it. This is going to be our new base. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button. I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you guys on the next Space Engineers. This is Gmo signing out for now. Until next time. All right, everybody. Bye-bye for now.